All right. Now we can mount this. Basically, you just take your four screws like this. Put them in the holes here, if you can find the hole. Make sure the um, heat sink is towards the back of the car. And we do a loosey-loosey screw on here to start. Trying to get the screw on anyway. Okay, there we go. Loosey-loosey. fat fingers. Somebody who doesn't have fat fingers could do this easier. Okay, getting there. Loosely screwy. And one more Loosey. Okay, so those are loose. Um, now we're just going to hand tighten them very delicate like a feather. Don't want to break that circuit board. Just tighten it so it doesn't come out, doesn't fall off, doesn't go flying. Just a little bit. Don't want to break that board break that board you're dead okay voila <clears throat> motor board is mounted now you can see the uh, wires kinda hanging all over the place um, eventually at some point we're gonna wanna tie these down so they don't get stuck in the motor the motor doesn't rip the wires out of the tires out of the wires so we will come back to that later. Probably want to do some testing before we button everything up. Okay. Otherwise, looks good. Uh, looks like the diagram, the red wires on this connector, the black wires on this connector, the red wires on this connector, the black wires on this connector. Pulling looks like... Uh, None of these are going to come out very easily, so uh, this is nice and solidly mounted. All right, I think we're ready to move to the next step. Here is the H-Bridge checklist. We're going to make sure the black wires, black and red wires, are correctly wired. We're going to make sure that they're fastened securely in their connector. Make sure the heat sink is oriented correctly and the H-bridge is securely fastened but not broken.